I saw pictures of this temple years ago, and now it's time to go there. First, I needed to fly to Chiang Mai. My super soaker from Songkrang wasn't allowed to pass security. I arrived at my hotel and explored beautiful Chiang Mai. If you're in Thailand, you need to go to Chiang Mai. I don't know why it took me so long to get there. First of all, the temples are beautiful. There are so many of them. Second, the Thai food is incredible and cheap. And third, the atmosphere is very inviting and calm. Okay, this is more a Korean ice dish, but it reminded me of my airplane. On the way up to Chiang Rai, I made a stop at the Long Neck tribe of the Kayam people. Yes, it is very touristy, but they told us they live from tourism. I really don't know what I should think about the whole thing. At the Gold Triangle, I took a boat to Laos and there I had a little drink. But that's another story. Are you feeling something yet? But what I really wanted to show you is the Wat Rong Kun Temple. It is located in the Chiang Rai area. At least a three hour ride with a car from Chiang Mai. Since 1996, a local artist from Chiang Rai is building this Buddhist temple, also known as the White Temple. And only 20% of the whole construction is finished yet. Yes, it is very, very, very crowded. But still, this place is magical. The outreaching hands symbolize unrestrained desire. After the bridge, the cycle of rebirth, you get to the gate of heaven. The gate of heaven is guarded by two creatures representing death and Rahu. At the end is the Ubusot, the main building or the ordination hall. Depending on the time you arrive, it could be very touristy but it is totally worth going there. The first time I saw this temple, I really had a hard time to understand what I'm seeing there. There are so many details, it's so bright, it's just beautiful. And it has a gold bathroom. Let me know about your thoughts about the Long Neck Tribe or of course about this temple. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.